There was two key business drivers that got us to look at our WAN seriously. The first one was our CEO's challenge to IT. He says, how do we know that all these meetings that are happening, people are really engaged? Is there a way for you to help us raise the engagement level of all the employees? We know that by talking to some of the customers outside and some of the peers in the industry, when they turn on video, the employee engagement went up. So we said, why not us? We looked at our network and says, right now it's not gonna keep up. So we began looking seriously at some of the new technologies out there. The second key driver was to be able to provide our employees tools and access anywhere, anytime, or in any device, easily and securely. In our traditional hub and spoke network, when we wanted to increase bandwidth on the link, going to our service provider was pretty easy to get you know, bumped up in terms of the raw number of bits we could run through our network. What was challenging was all of the on-prem equipment was sized specifically for maximum throughput. So we had to go and not just take the easier route of increasing our bandwidth, but we also had to look at replacing or adding additional licenses to our on-prem environment. With Zscaler, that's all transparent. All of the infrastructure is hosted in the cloud. It scales to what we need in terms of users, in terms of bandwidth, in terms of locations. Over 70% of our traffic is SSL encrypted. And that was traffic we did not have visibility to. We needed that in order to maintain the security of our organization. By moving to Zscaler, we get the scalability and resilience of the cloud. We can add users, we can add traffic, add locations, it's all seamless. We get the value of that SSL inspection, and now that 70% of the traffic is covered. In working with AT&T, VeloCloud, and Zscaler, Sienna was able to achieve its goals very easily and simply. This was a partnership that helped us move from our traditional network architecture into our new future-looking SD-WAN-based architecture. The cost benefit was surprisingly to us was a lot larger than we initially anticipated for two reasons. We kind of anticipated the WAN side we were going to be able to reduce between 33% to 50% depends on how aggressive we were in terms of cutting things over. But the residual benefits was the fact that when we raised the video engagement level, we went from pretty much 100% PSTN calling, which is a per minute charge, to now 80% voice over IP. So we actually double the meeting minutes because people love the new technology so much, but we were able to reduce costs by over 50%.